Hello guys, welcome back to another Boomied video. So today's another Operation video. We've been attacking Stronghold a lot recently, and look at this reward. I could get a million stone, a million wood, or 23 diamonds. Definitely getting the diamonds. I don't need anything else. And here, I will be getting the life shards because I don't need anything else. Don't recommend getting life shards if you are not max. Get that other loot or something like that. But you know what? I don't need gold anymore, so that's good. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to be attacking live in this episode, but I helped my task force for once, guys. Okay, so first we're going to jump back a few days, and I had this kind of fail attack. I think it was here. Uh, yes, we can still view it. So, people were attacking Titanic. Um, I was trying to mock this guy's attack, and I, I said I did pretty good, but I had to repeat this guy's attack. So, what he does is he just uses Smokey uh, Zuka's and or az if you want to call it all zukas and i'm just going to be flaring or he's going to be flaring over here it's like fuse and when he's going to be flaring up here he only has 94 zukas when he attacked he didn't even have a full army but he did a flare up that corner then he's going to be doing a flare over here and then he's going to be flaring over here and i was trying to mock up this attack but you'll see that i had a little hard time going but anyway this is my first video with my new setup so that's cool so, all these stuff are going to be shooting. He got that shot down a little late, but, um, I mean, he did take it down about halfway. So, they were like, okay, if you do a super boost, so I boosted up everything. I have 124 damage, percent damage, 58 health, and 176 uh, gumbo energy. And I'll compare that to him right now because I want to see how much he did. And if I do it later, I'll forget. So yes, I had more damage, I had about the same amount of health, and I had more gumbo energy. So I should have been able to beat the base. I should have. But as you guys know, I suck with all Zookas. And you'll you'll see that. That kind of comes out when you'll see this attack. So I do this. I do this. I don't even have enough room for my last boat. So my last boat goes over there. A couple of them die, but that's okay because it doesn't matter too much. And then I do a flare up here. I uh, dropped my smokes a little late. It didn't kill off any, but I mean, that one took off like five or so. But I'm moving up here to this corner now. They're in a pretty good clump. I'm pretty uh, pumped because I, I feel confident in myself. I do a flare over there, and then this is ooh, it's so trust. This is when I do a fail. I flare a little too close to the sniper tower, so you'll see that in a second. And I was supposed to be out of range of the sniper tower, so those went on fire. But you'll see here that it was a mini fail. I was supposed to shock those late. That one fires a wipe out my zukas, completely obliterating them. I did take it down to about half a million HP, but it just wasn't enough. And I just, if I would have shocked. That other one, it probably would have been the difference between winning and losing. Uh, but yes, here's the next one. Did I even attack here? Oh, yes, I did. Because uh, this one was like right after that other one. Because I attacked like last time at last operation. So I had a super boost still going. So I had a skank trained up. And I was trying to... They wanted me to solo this base. And I'm like, what the heck? Do you not know how bad I am at attacking in operations? I just don't get operations. But I'm getting better. I, I am getting a lot better. But anyway, we are going to be doing a flare back here. And, uh, yeah, I don't... I didn't ask him if I should take down, like, all these buildings and then move in. But I was kind of, like, freaking out here. Because I didn't know what to do, what they want me to do. Uh, but, yes, the, I, the good thing I like about this task force is they just... They're just doing operations for loot. I mean, they start an operation when the next one finishes, but they're not, like, super, super, like, okay, you do this and you're kicked out. Um, if you don't do this good of attack, you're kicked out. That's what I like about this task force. They're not like that at all. If you attack and you don't retreat, they're going to be happy with you. So that's what I like about them. They're a little more laid back, but we ended up successfully defeating this one. We'll just view this because this is a warrior attack. Whoever got that base down that low, it's a true MVP, because that's awesome. Uh, but he's going to be doing a flare behind the base. Why didn't you just go straight in? I don't know why he didn't go straight in, but I guess he's deciding to take out some extra GB or something like that. Maybe just, yeah, just being himself. Fuse. I don't know if they're trying to mock Fusey. Fusey tube, I don't know. But anyway, these warriors are going ham. It's getting the health back up because every time they hit the hammers, the health goes up. So the more they do that, um, the more it goes down. But yes, he just breaks the base by just destroying them, which I guess is kind of a smart idea. I mean, I would have rushed him, but I mean, 
good good for him at least uh we'll go down to here because i want to show you guys operations um let's talk about requirements they only want you to be uh 300 medals and up so if you are level 5 and 300 medals and up i guess it uh theoretically let you in but would they i, I doubt it um uh, but yes that's all the requirements you need to join reversals task force but yes he's doing some smoky zuka i think who got me sorry um he will be dropping those he's kind of doing smoky hookah but this is the base i attacked and i wiped out bad and then another guy came in and did a fail attack he was a maxed level player and he destroyed barely anything um the only good thing he did was take the hq down which i guess was i guess is fine I mean, it's not that bad, but he's going to move in with all hookah, and he's just going to wipe the base out. And this base took three attacks, and they wanted me to take it out in one attack. And I was like, well, I'm never going to be able to do that. But uh, we're just going to view a chat here because, um, uh, okay, I need to talk to these guys quick. Okay, now that that one's done, I'm really almost there. I'm getting to this attack, guys. You'll see that in a second. I finally beat a base in operations, which was super clutch. So we're going to watch all of those. Armadillo. So this is the first guy that attacked Armadillo. He's one of our better players. He's level 63. Um, but yeah, we'll see what he does. We're just going to put on time four because skank is one of the slowest strategies ever. Um... Maybe not so smoky, I mean, tanks, but anyway, it's so slow so strat. But he barely does anything. He was, I think his main goal was to take out that building right there. But he, I mean, I guess he successfully did it. I don't know. He was kind of pointless. Those critters were just a waste. But yes, he did clear. He dug into the base a tiny little bit. And he did clear some area. So good for him. Uh, that's super clutch. So that was the first attack. And then we are going to be going and trying to find a second attack on Armadillo. Armadillo did another guy attack Armadillo Armadillo here we go then Jesus came in with 54 and he had one goal and I don't know what that one goal was I think to take out that laser beam and he, he yeah he did one goal to take out the laser beam I think so Smokey Zuka can come in or something like that but yes he was just able to get it and he wasn't able to, to break anything else but then he goes to the mortar and he just gets obliterated by the flames so it's I mean it's not that bad but he did his goal and then Burst came in, and he came in with Hookah. We'll see what his strat is. Um, yeah, he's coming in with Hookah, and looks like he's just going to go straight up, and those mortars are going to wreck. Shock. Okay, good. He did the shock, which was good. He just trying to destroy the mortars. I think that's his goal, just taking out, just clearing, just giving the base a little more dense. Uh, because the more dense, the easier it's going to be. So, uh, now that that base is gone, now that I think about it, my attack wasn't that good because there were all of these people. So his goal, I think, was to take out the Shock Blaster, which was kind of pointless. I don't know why. A lot of people attack without reading the chat or saying something in the chat first. But he didn't even get the Shock Blaster, which was kind of stupid, if you ask me. Um, he was just a low level. I think we should kick off his low levels and get higher level players. But yes, then Flaw comes in with Hookah. And the good thing about this was there only like there was only like half an hour left, so and there were like no attacks left, so it was pretty much up to me. It was like all up to me. No one else was getting on, so it was pretty much all up to me. Um, and I did it. I helped my task force, and they were super happy. Anyway, yeah, uh, he's moving in. Flaw is moving in, just taking out the mortars. The hard thing is, is uh, yes, there's a lot of attacks, but they're all lower level people, so they can't do anything against these high level bases. They're not willing to boost. They're not willing to do anything. Uh, but yes, here we go. This guy comes in with another hook attack, and I mean, I mean, I guess it was okay. He's doing with some shocks. I don't know. There was a lot of pointless attacks used. Like, if this attack was pretty much pointless, you just stay over here and you'll be fine. I think they want to do someone to move in with Hookah. I mean, Smokey Zuka, Shock Vat Clump, Shock Vat Clump, uh, Shock Vat, and then Shock the Flame. I mean, the machine guns. I mean, it'd pretty much be a clutch and they would beat it, but no one was smart enough to do that. There were so many attacks on this base, and like all level 40s, all of our low level players attacked this base. What the heck is this guy doing? I don't know. This guy is such an idiot. What is he doing? We don't need to destroy the mortars. We're destroying this clump over here. Not the f mor not the freaking mortar. Sorry. Uh, but yes, here we go. Duck is going to move in. And uh, he's going to move in over here. He's taking out the sniper towers, which is another pointless attack. <sighs> we should kick all these people. 
or was the lead of his task force, they would all be gone. That flight was pointless also. But Sam, Sam finally has some sense, I think. If he, okay, good. He goes in over there. And his goal is to take out the machine guns. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know if he did it. He only destroyed four buildings, which was very, very bad. But he needed uh, more health on the scorchers, I think. Or just hookah. If he had hookah, he would have been able to beat that. So two more attacks left. Dang it. There's so many attacks. I thought I was doing good. Um, but yes, he does a flare over here. He gets all of his hookah all together. And I guess he's going to try to take out the machine guns. So a smoky zooka rush can come in. But as you'll see, I didn't even use smoky zooka. I just took it out with hookah. Um, but yes, that was a successful attack. He finished the machine guns. And then Master M is going to come in and then me, finally. Um, but yes, he's going to move in with Scorcher and Tanks. There was so many useless attacks. We spent like 20 attacks. No, like 10 attacks on this base. And for what cost? This attack was pointless. Taking out the cannons, so dumb. Why would you need to take out the cannons? But he did take out like two more uh, sniper towers over there. So that was super good. And now, here we come into my attack. My awesome attack. And I finished off the base. As you see here, that's like 20 attacks, or no, like 15 attacks. So it's not good, but they were able to clear a good uh, path to mine. So I just throw Smokey Zuka in and just watch it go down. And I'm just gonna keep those shocked. And I never ran to shocks because they need someone with high GBE. And then I'll drop another shock on that one. That one will fire. And we are going to beat the base. It took so long. This is on times two even. So it takes a lot longer than what it looks like. But that's going to be it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.